So, <laughs> so uh, we, 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 even though we're uh, located, our manufacturing is in Illinois. I actually live in Ohio myself. So, oh, the, you do? <laughs> yeah, the company that got acquired was in Southeast Ohio. So, I, I, I stayed uh, local where I was living, and and when I'm not traveling, I work remotely out of the house. And then um, pre-COVID, I was getting back to to Illinois one to two times a month. I'm back there quite frequently. Wow. Well, that's so nice. I've, I've, I've gotten pretty familiar with the area. Mm -hmm. I'm glad that they let you work out of your house because yeah. Illinois, Illinois is, uh, is, a, is a little crazy. My family still lives there and it's, Mark knows he's trying to get out of there. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's crazy. It's, it's it getting is. crazier too. They shut down the highways this weekend. Yeah, that's what I heard. And then the riots and my niece lives on Lakeshore Drive and she was on her bike and these three girls were trying to pull her off her bike and steal her purse. And wow. Yeah, she's like, and it really like scared her so much. Like she wants to get out of the city. It's it's so crazy. Everybody wants to move out of the cities now. Yep. They're just so Yeah, you're you're starting to see that in a lot of these big cities now. I know New York's another one that there's a lot of people because of everything mm -hmm. that's going on that they're they're talking about getting out, moving somewhere else and you it know. just, it, it really has people scared. Yeah. People are losing their minds. Yep. Yeah. So I, at least when, when I get back, I mean, I go to Chicago. I mean, I've been there many, many times, but here, here recently, I mean, we're, we're still a couple hours South. So right. I mean, Which is not as bad as being in Chicago. Yeah. Yeah. They're in Springfield. And, and when I drive over from Ohio, I mean, I, I go through Columbus and I go through Indianapolis and then it's a bunch of farmland until I get over there. So it's not yeah. too bad. Well, thanks for connecting with us and putting this together. Mark, I'm going to let you lead this because um, you probably know a little bit more about what's going on. <laughs> well, I, w I was taking this as an opportunity to, um, um, to start uh, basically a virtual lunch and learn. Uh, I would, uh, I've known uh, Shane for a, a while, but the other day when that product popped up for physical distancing, it triggered uh, an idea for me for what we're working on together for the street pod. And um, so I think if we record a uh, product review and, and, and we ask you a question or two, one, it gets the, the product known out there, but two, I have a pretty good feeling we're going to plan on using this. And so then down the road, when we make that announcement, we could come back together and say, well, this is the benefit of, uh, of product manufacturers uh, speaking with, uh, with the marketplace because we came together and we developed this uh, great tool. So I think it has temporary and long-term benefits to all of us. I like where you're going. You're always thinking, this guy, I don't know how he makes these things happen, Shane, but his mind is like an endless funnel of ideas. Yeah, well, I can, I can definitely see that <laughs> since, since the first time Mark and I, I spoke. I, I know there's a lot going on and, it, and it's just getting it and bringing it all together. And he's, he's done, I mean, from everything I've seen, he's done a great job with it. Yeah, absolutely. So if, if we're all relaxed, Shane, you want to hit record and let's, let's do some, some, some training. Yep. That'll be perfect. I think I've actually already got the record on. So I, I can send this. I, I figured you might be able to, to edit it to the way you need and everything. So yeah, we can get started here. Uh, so um, uh, product here uh, that we're talking about is our, our polycarbonate. And uh, basically what it is, it's a uh, co-extruded, um, panel here and there's a lot of different options that are out there uh, that you can see it's used in a lot of different applications whether that's commercial application industrial uh, you'll see it in residential um, it can be used as like roofing panels over uh, exposed uh, garages you see it in greenhouse applications and really what we bring to the table is a couple different options to to meet your needs so um, with the polycarbonate, you've, you've got a couple different systems. You've got the uh, multi-wall system, which is going to have different layers. This is what you see in the, uh, the, the greenhouse type applications. Uh, there's corrugated, which is what you see a lot on the roofing panels. And then we do some custom ones too. We have a soft white, 
uh, panel as well as a black white or a, sorry a white black white panel uh, that gets used in some uh, different uh, uh, row applications depending on how you need the lighting uh, within the industry. So when you when you look at some of the panels here, I got some some examples here. This is like the uh, the corrugated panel here that you'll see in a roofing uh, type application. Again, you see this in a lot of residential um, when you've got um, a garage that's not an enclosed garage and it's more of a, a, a top awning that goes over it. Uh, it's real nice with these each of these panels. There's different options where we can do UV rated on one side. We can do it on two sides. We can add a, a, a an additive to it, which is basically a no drip is what we call it. So when you go into these applications, if, if you've got um, any type of moisture or anything, it's, it's going to build up as condensation, but it's not going to drip down. So it's really ideal on those, those, those grooving type panels that you don't have moisture coming down through it. But, but really, when you look at the polycarbonate and the different types of options, as I mentioned, the, the multi-wall is a, a real common one, and there, there's a lot of different, different applications you can do with this. This is the, uh, the three wall, if you can see it here. It's got three different walls there. This is a uh, X wall, so it's the uh, three wall with an X going through it. These are come, some of the more common ones that you see out there. We can do anything from an eight mil all the way up to a 16 mil as a standard. We do have some, some, some thicker panels and different options that we can do, but those are really the standards that you, you have out there. And then from there, you get into some customization. So you can get into opaque colors, something that's uh, different colors. We can do blues, we can do different uh, options. Um, this one's kind of unique. It's a five wall X layer. So you can get really durable. And, and when you co-extrude this, you just, you get this real nice impact resistant panel. Um, so she, yeah. that last, the last panel you had, if you hold that up, um, so that's opaque enough that we cannot we cannot pick out your facial features. Yeah, I was going to say when you when you hold that up, I mean it's it 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 it's giving you the when you're looking at the other one where you've got the high light transmission, this one's that opaque, and when you get into the solid colors, I mean it it's giving you a panel system if you don't want that that light. I mean you can still get the light coming through it; it's just not going to be as clear as the the other types of panels. I like the difference that you're making there because we're getting the transparency, uh, but you're also getting the level of privacy while still allowing light. Yes, exactly. So it's really coming down to what your application is and, and really, really where you're looking to, to put these panels. If you need that high light reflectivity, you still need that uh, ability. If, if you're putting polycarbonate in, say, uh, uh, a trailer, uh, if you're moving and, and you've got a trailer that doesn't have lights in it, you could take uh, one of these panels that, that still allows the light to come through to, to sort of fill the inside of that trailer. But again, it, it, it's still got that solid to it that somebody's not going to be able to see in and, and you get that privacy, as you said. And then you, you can sort of get into some different options as well. I mean, this one's a little bit darker. It's still clear. You can you can see somewhat through it, but it's more of a uh, a bronze type finish. So it's a it's a colored panel, but it's not completely sort of impervious to see through, like you see with the uh, the uh, the opal color here. Yeah. So and yeah. Then those aesthetics are all different. Audrey, does anyone pop out at you as more att attractive visually, from the clear to the opaque to the uh, bronze? You know, it's interesting when I when I look at all of those. I think I, I I'm trying to envision how where and how I've seen these and where I've seen them, right? And mm -hmm. and the useful nature of what they do. Um, I love the aspect. I almost feel like it, it's almost kind of like opening a box, like a house, and having a skylight, right? Yep. Being able to have this this light coming, which I think is super amazing. And I love, like you were saying, the different qualifications of the durability. I think it all depends on the design of what you're trying to achieve. Obviously having the bronze mark, I think that's super great because when you're looking at maybe more of a modern design or having something that needs that type of specialty product, it's nice to be able to have a diversion of just bright white or that clear white. Yeah. You like that. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I, when, I love when it. You talk about the durability, I mean, you can even take it a step further 
Um, this is another panel and it's actually, you can see it's a lot thicker. It's getting above the 16 mil, but we're just adding more layers into it. This is a five wall here, but what we've done is combined, you can see the blue on one side, and the opal on the other. So it's really just meeting what the needs are. Um, again, you get something that's a little bit thicker, but you want more light to, to come through this. So instead of doing opal all the way through it, you've got a lighter one on three of the, uh, three of the levels here and then that white. So you still have the privacy on the one side, but you got more light transmission because you've got it coming through on the other. So again, it's really just looking at what, what your, your industry is looking for and, and where it fits in and, and taking each of the panels and customizing it to, to meet those needs. What has been your favorite project? Um, I'll tell you what, it's probably the one that, that Mark uh, actually found out about this product on. So I, I, I'll be uh, the first one to admit polycarbonate's actually new to me. So this is something that one of our sister companies manufactures. And they're really heavy in all these different types of industries. And the president of our company has said, hey, this is a product line that's open to you. And, and it's really over the last year or so, I, I moved into this role and I've been really just sort of getting my hands a little bit dirty on what the product is and where it would fit. And um, here with the, uh, the COVID situation, what we've done is we've actually uh, developed a, a, a social distancing partition so we've taken the, uh, this uh, 16 mil. Another X solution. I love it. It makes yep. me so happy that we're forward thinking and helping our communities and trying to get through this process of this pandemic. I can't even, it's like, yay, thank you. <laughs> yeah, and, and that's, that's exactly what we did. We, we sort of tried to pivot the company to what can we do to help people get their businesses back open? Yeah, and, that's and so that. great, so, Jane. Yeah, you, okay. you take this and, and we put legs on it. We ship it out. It's very lightweight. I mean, for a four by six panel, it's about 20 pounds and it's four foot wide. So if your arm, if your arm can span four foot wide, one person can pick up this panel and move it around. And um, I give you an example, uh, down in Texas, this has been moving very well for us. Uh, if if they, help. when they started opening up the restaurants, it was 50% to capacity, but if they had some type of barrier system, they could open up to 75% capacity. So it was allowing them to open up further and allow these businesses to, to get back to somewhat of a normal, uh, a normal level here. I, I know it's, everybody keeps saying the new norm with, with what's going on, but it's just us just trying right. to get um, all the local businesses, the companies back together. So um, to answer your question, that's been, that was a really exciting project for me because it allowed me to develop this with, with the Nudo team, take a product that a sister company of ours had and repurpose it. But since I've made these posts and we started doing it, it started to open up the door to these other opportunities. And, and this is what brought Mark into it of where can we take this and use it in other types of applications as well. Yeah, I love, I love the creativity and I love, obviously, Mark and I are big, big components of any kind of solutions that we can get back to some type of um, connection instead of separation. I think that's one yep. of the things and it's really great to see it on the manufacturing side because we don't really ever do that or talk about it, right? It's who's going to come up with it, hope it gets here and who knows, but it's great to see that you have a voice for this and that you've created this solution in so many different facets. And I mean, I think it can be useful anywhere, but it's always the who's going to have the first conversation and who's going to bring it out to, to be brave enough to try it and to see the solution, discover opportunities for us to get, get back into business. Well, and that, that's exactly it. I mean, we, we really developed this for re restaurants and fitness centers. Yeah, it's so it, smart. It, it, it has taken off. People are using this in plants. Uh, and, and we've had here recently with schools opening back up. I mean, you, you can tell this is probably not ideal for a school if you're putting it up because you can't see the kids through it. But we had one of our sales managers who at his church, they have a preschool. They got these units and they put them sideways just to divide the, uh, the, uh, the desks up. And he took some pictures and that, that's actually the one I think Mark saw. We, we put that out there and, and it's just like everybody's reaching out and saying, well, we were thinking of this blocking and not being able to see the kid, but by just turning it, and putting that social barrier up, you can get kids back into school and you can reopen and you're not forcing the kids to wear a mask in that because I mean, it's one thing when it's a high school or it's another thing when it's a younger kid and trying to keep that mask on. So this helps them get back and get back open and, and sort of, as we said, get things back to normal. So it's just, 
you get that you get that information out and somebody sees it and that's what really opens the door and takes it to the next step I love and, just it. Think, and just think mark maybe you could take and, and shane maybe you could take all those pieces and then you can build a little house afterwards and there you go just a lightweight <laughs> house and we, we we've got we, we we've got some trim pieces we can help do the connections here we've got some h trims and uh some nice little two-piece trim pieces so we can uh, help bring them all together. I'm liking it. I mean, everybody needs a little play schoolyard, right, for, for that, that work. Um, sometimes, you know, as parents, we need a little space, having our kids have like a little tent inside of there. Awesome. What, well, you talk about, you, you, you see the sheds, the little little sheds in the yes. backyard and that. You've, you've, you've yes. just taken, repurpose this, get something. I know, now we're building gardens. Look yep. at how many purposes this fulfills. Yep, exactly. My gosh. <laughs> it's an exciting project um, in, in so many different ways because the product is so versatile. Those colors that you've expressed, I'm very familiar with those trim packages. I'm joining them. Um, they all have their purpose. Uh, Audrey, you've got to get a sample kit from Shane. This is, uh, this is really great. I think we've got to find a project to all come together on. Yeah, and you talk about like the color options. This is a just a thinner, this is just a, a two wall system, but you can see going from the clear and sort of just taking it one level at a time to, I mean, there's so many different options. This is the white, black, white panel that you see in a lot of the uh, greenhouse grow. So it, it, you still get a little bit of light, uh, light that goes through this. It's very minimal. It's more about the light reflectivity. So when you've got the UV lights and and that it just reflects off of this and helps grow. So there's a lot of different applications and, and expanding okay. off of it. So the white, black, white keeps that uh, reflectivity inside without being an obstruction to whatever's on the other side of that pen. That is correct. So you can sort of, basically what you can do is you're, you're taking your plants that you're growing and, and you're, you're, you're tricking them. You're, you're saying what time is it gonna be daylight and what time is it gonna be dark? It's not going to let that light go through, but when you turn up your UV lights, it's going to reflect off of it. Then you can then get it dark and you can trick it. So even during the colder months when you normally wouldn't grow uh, different types of plants, whether it's tomato plants or something, you can then put this together and trick it into what's daylight, what's nighttime, and, and get the best grow out of the plants. I love that. Extended seasons, right? And more offerings yep. at different parts of the year. Yep, exactly. I have a greenhouse. I'm going to have to look into that. I have a small one, but I don't have there. It's not as sophisticated panels as that. It's really kind of like that, you know, corrugated plastic design. Okay. So, yeah. Just uh, more. So I just, now similar. I need to take it all off. Yep, and now I got to get this on there. My husband's going to love me. He's going to be like another freaking project. <laughs> Although I'm going to say, honey, we're going to be able to get our plants and we're going to be able to get food for a longer period of time. So it's well worth it. That, that's yeah. exactly it. You're not relying on just the natural sunlight. You'll be able to extend right. it and, and get some more out of it. I'm totally so you following you. I actually, I'm, I'm like, this is like such a brilliant idea. I'm glad that Mark decided to have this conversation because I think we need to have more of these. We don't get to ever talk to anybody in this space, right? We don't get to connect with people that manufacture products. So it's super exciting. Well, I, I, I think it's exciting and, and I, I appreciate because Mark and I have talked a few different times and we've talked about some different products. Uh, again, I mean, we do a lot with lamination in that, but it's just trying to find that fit and what, what we could discuss and what we could take to the next level. And and this is a product that's got a lot of different options. And, and I know that there's some different things Mark's working on where this could fit in and, and we could sort of take it to the next level. And just like we did with the social distancing, repurpose this for a new type of application. Yeah, remember when we were talking, I mean, my world is really in modular offsite construction along with Mark, right? So we really try to start having these conversations of evolving what does modular and prefab look like? And how do we integrate these other pieces to have the opportunity to kind of grow in an industry that allows us to have all these specialties? And I think yeah. your product definitely superiorly fits in with that. Yeah, well, I appreciate it. I mean, that that's our ultimate goal. And and that's, that's one of the big things that, that I try to do and, and what I do with the company. It's, it's continuing to pivot 
and work with what the customers need and what we can do to support and, and help out help our customers. And, and it's building those relationships and continuing that process. Yep. I love it. So maybe we could schedule another time to talk where we can go over some of those other laminated panel lines. Uh, Audrey's in and out of facilities on projects all the time as well. So the, I think we could schedule another call and we could dive on, uh, on another round of products, Shane. Yeah, yeah, we can definitely do so. We've got a lot of different options. We, we consider ourselves the industry leader in laminations. And I mean, we, we've got thousands of options. So we, we could uh, talk quite a bit about uh, laminated panels as well. Awesome. So we need to get his logo so we can create an open and close to this and his contact information. Yep. So what I can do is I can email you. I'll send you over this uh, this video. I'll make sure the logo is included as well as all my contact information. And then, yeah, if there's anything else that you need from me, just let me know and I'd be glad to help out. Yeah, we, we will because we're working on something right now. <laughs> <laughs> yep, definitely. So I think that I, I definitely think that there's some opportunities. We will be in touch. <laughs> yep. <laughs> This is I awesome. Love it, you did guys. such a nice job explaining things. And I, I love that actually we could visually, even though we're all on the Zoom thing, like I could see exactly what you were talking about, which is so awesome. Yeah. Well, and it's like, like before COVID, I loved being out in front of customers because yeah. it's so much easier to take samples in that and, and bring them in. And, and Mark asked that same question when we spoke last week. Do you have something that you could hold up in front of the camera? Because, I mean, it goes a long way when you're going from one, one product to the other and seeing the benefits and, and what it brings. I mean, even, even through the, the camera, it shows a lot. It does. It really does. And it's actually nice to see. And it's nice that you have such diverse products and you can actually physically understand it. Because, you know, when you talk about this in plain language, it's not that easy to follow. Yeah, if you, if you just say, it. yeah, I got a right? twin wall and a, and, a, and a five wall with an X going through it, trying to explain that without visually seeing it, a lot of people are just going to be sort of thinking, well, what's he talking about? What's going on? So, I mean, it, it's really nice. And I, I told Mark it was ideal because I was back in Illinois uh, just a couple weeks ago and I just grabbed all these samples. So it was just oh, perfect good. timing that I had it all yeah. available. There you go. That's divine intervention. It is. <laughs> always, always. Um, well, perfect. Uh, Audrey, you and I have a call as well right now. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, it starts in three minutes. Shane, we're going to run. Um, yep. Yeah, that's no that problem. I'll send it well done. Thank yep. you. No, I appreciate it. I'll send over this information so you have it. And then uh, I, I know that you guys were planning to send me over the uh, the NDA to look at that yep. project. So I'll I keep an eye out for that. For that. Yep. And, and as Mark, as you guys said, if you guys want any sample kits or anything, just let me know. Let me know where to send them and I can get you guys out whatever you need. Oh, Shane, you're so nice. Yep. I'm so excited <laughs> to work with you. No, I appreciate it. I, so I know good. I know Mark, Mark, Mark shows my coffee mug people. off. Quite, yeah, quite frequently. That's and so we, we've talked about... I think I got one here. We've talked about this, Mark. I'll have one of these when you make it up to the plant. Oh, nice. <laughs> We've got some newer, this is an older one. I've got some newer ones, but I, I still remember that conversation. I got a nice one for you that we'll, we'll, we'll uh, get to you when you get into the plant sometime. The, the, there's, nothing that, there's nothing better than a bare naked guy putting on a noodle. <laughs> there, there you go. <laughs> I like it. I want a hat. If you get I, one, I, I, want, I, I will get you I one as well. I have yes. Don't leave me awesome. out. Nope, awesome. nope. We'll, we'll make sure that happens. Awesome. Thank yes, you very definitely. much, Shane. I appreciate it. Yes, they, thank you both, and I'll be in touch. Thanks, Shane. Right, it was thanks. so nice to meet you. Bye-bye.